HTTP methods two commonly used methods for a request and response between a client and the server are get and post get request data from a specified resource post submits data to a specified resource in get method querying is sent in the url of a get request get request can be cached remains in the browser history should never be used when dealing with uh, sensitive data and should use should be used only to retrieve data in post method data is sent in the http message body of a request post requests are never cached do not remains in the browser history and uh, have no restrictions on data length and other http request methods other than get and post head same as get but returns only http headers and no document body put uploads a representation of the specified url delete deletes the specified resource options returns the http methods that the server supports connect converts the request connection to a transparent tcp ip tunnel header lines provides information about the request or response the slide shows the list of available headers let's discuss one by one allow it lists the set of methods supported by the resource ure authorization defines the authentication type for the requested resource content encoding it is primarily used to allow a document to be compressed without losing the identity of its underlying media type content length the size of the body that have been sent for the request content type the media type of the request or response date the date and time at which the message was originated expires gives the time after which the resource may no longer be valid from contain an email address of the user who controls the requesting user agent if modified since used with the get method to make it conditional if the requested resource has not been modified since the time specified in the field a copy of the resource will not return from the server last modified date and time at which the sender believes the resource was last modified location exact location of the resource that was identified by the requested uri pragma is to include implementation specific directives that may not apply to any recipient along with request response sign refer the address of the resource from which the request uri was obtained server software information used by the server to handle the request user agent gives browser information of the requester w3 authenticate the header must include in 401 response messages consist of one challenge that indicates the authentication schemas and parameters applicable to the request uri HTTP status codes. Every HTTP transaction has a status code sent back by the server to define how the server handled the transaction. Slide shows list of most common status codes. Let's di discuss one by one. 200. It stands for request has succeeded. 300. The requested resource has different choices, cannot resolve into one. For example, there may be a several index.html pages on which which file is wanted. 301. Resource has been assigned to new permanent URI. 302. Resource resides temporarily under a different URI. 304. It indicates the resource for the requested URL has not changed since the last access. 307. The requested resource temporarily under a different URL. Since the redirection may be altered on an occasion, the client should continue to use the requested URI for the future requests. 400. The request could not be understood by the server. 401. The request requires user authentication. 403. Authorization fails for the request. 404. The server has not found anything matching the requested URI. 410. The requested URI is no longer available in server 500 the server does not support the functionality required to fulfill the request 503 web server is unable to handle your http request at that time 
For remaining list of HTTP status codes, visit this URL. You can find this URL at the description section of the YouTube video that is below this video. Okay, let's check how HTTP works on live. For this, you need Firefox browser and live HTTP headers that is in Firefox add on installed in your browser. You can get you can get this add on at the below URL. So I'm ready with my Firefox browser with HTTP live headers add on. You can find this add on after installation at tools. This is my HTTP live header add on. Okay. Now I'm going to open a new URL. So I'm requesting php.net slash index dot php. Okay, the response came back from the server. Then the client, uh, that is our browser, is showing the response. Okay, let's check it out our uh, HTTP live header. Okay. This is our uh, request headers message and this is our uh, response message and these are the start lines for request and uh, this is for response message http this is the http method get and this is uh, url and http version and for uh, response this is http version and this is the status code and these are the header lines okay that's how http works